Hi, I'm Adam Thompson from Cinti Studios, and in this video, we're going to create a heads-up display, or HUD, in Unity using its UI system. We're going to be using Cinti's newly released Interface Apocalypse HUD pack, which includes over 600 icons and sprites, as well as over 100 HUD prefabs, all ready for us to use. After importing the package, feel free to browse our sample scenes. Most notably, we have some pre-made HUDs all ready for you to use straight out of the box. For this video, however, I'm going to show you how to create a custom HUD from scratch. Let's get started. To work with UI in Unity, we must first create a canvas. Right click in your scene hierarchy and go to UI Canvas. You'll notice that as we did that, it also created an event system. I am currently using the new Unity input system. And if you are too, you will get this prompt. Simply click this button and everything should be fine. Everything we do in Unity with UI will fall under this canvas. And before we continue, I'd like to share some UI workflow considerations and general tips. I'm gonna use some of our pre-made HUDs just to illustrate. Now, like any game object in Unity, you can push F to fly to it and frame it. This 2D button here, it will go into this 2D mode that makes it very useful for editing UI. You can also push two on your keyboard. Another thing to consider is that we must have our gizmos turned on. As you can see, when gizmos are turned on, we can actually see the UI canvas and the elements within become clickable. If you find the 3D scene in your way, what you can do is when selecting an object, you can hit shift and H. This will go into isolated view. So everything else in the scene will not be visible. This is very useful when editing UI. The last consideration is your resolution and your aspect ratio. Right now, my game tab is set to 4K as my resolution. If I were to set this to free aspect, you'll notice that immediately we have some scaling issues, even if I set it to 16 by nine. I'm gonna show you how to address this now so that it's no issue for us as we continue. Click on your canvas, and there are two ways to actually address this. If you're targeting a lower resolution such as 1080p, what we can do is set the scale factor to half. What you can do is experiment by turning on free aspect and trying to resize the window yourself. However, if you set it to 16 by nine and the resolution continues to drop, you'll notice that the elements remain large in size. This may not be desired behavior, which is why I recommend the second method. On the canvas scaler, on your canvas, set the UI scale mode to scale with screen size and set the reference resolution to 4K. That is 3840 by 2160 then drag to match with height. This will ensure that your HUD will always stay the same size, regardless of your resolution. If we set it to free aspect, you'll also notice that it continues to anchor to the corners. And with that out of the way, let's start creating our HUD from scratch. I'm going to delete what we had before and right click on the canvas, go to create empty. I'm going to call this HUD. Now we want this HUD to take up the entirety of the screen. And to do that, I'm going to click on this top left icon here. This relates to our pivot and our anchors. Now, a little tip you can do is hold Alt, which will set the anchors as well as set the positioning. By clicking the bottom right, it will anchor everything to the corners of the screen and also set everything to zero. I'm just going to set this to 16 by nine for now. Now I'm going to create another child and we will call this screen space. This is to set all of our HUD elements that are in screen space. I will also do the same position and anchor. I'm going to create another child for the different anchor spots. And I'm going to add an image just so that I can see the object itself. I'll set the width and the height to 600 by 600. And for the top right, I will again hold Alt, Shift, and click on this top right element. If I hit Control D to duplicate that, I can then set that to the bottom right, once again to the bottom left, and another one for the top center. And I'll just name these accordingly. Great. Now I'm gonna shift click all of these and turn off the image. We don't actually need them. They were just for us to preview. And starting with the top right, I'd like to add a minimap. In our prefabs folder, I'm going to look for minimap and I'm quite fond of the rusty red, so I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to position it slightly. To do a sanity check, I always just come back into the game view and I try out between 16 by nine and free aspect and I just adjust the game view to take note that it is in fact anchored. 
where it should be. So for the bottom right, I'm going to add a health bar. And the one I like here is the metal frame 01. Just going to position that. For the bottom left, I'm going to add an action bar. The one I like here is the rusty metal 01. And for the top, I'm going to add a compass. Metal clamp 01. So setting that to free aspect, I can just do my little sanity check and I do see that everything is anchored as it should be. This is a great starting point for our HUD. I would encourage you all to explore all the different types of components. There are multiple compasses, action bars, health bars, mini maps, and so on, uh, as well as a bunch of other things in here. So have fun. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If there's anything specific you'd like to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our newest videos, or check out our community discord, link in the description.